10 Biggest Ongoing Mega Projects in Ethiopia Ethiopia is a hilly, landlocked country in the Horn of Africa, divided by the Great Rift Valley. It's a place of old culture, with archaeological artifacts dating back over 3 million years. Lalebela, with its rock-cut Christian buildings from the 12th-13th centuries, is one of its most important locations. With obelisks, tombs, castles, and the Chapel of Our Lady Mary of Zion, Aksum is the remnants of an ancient metropolis. Construction is one of Ethiopia's most important industries, and it is the country's second-largest employer after agriculture, according to some estimates. The government has launched not just massive construction projects, but also very minor ones, such as Unity Park, which cost only 5 million Ethiopian per, to alleviate poverty, expand Ethiopia's infrastructure, and create jobs. When you compare that to mega-projects in Ethiopia, such as the Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam, which cost just under $5 billion, you can see that the government isn't reluctant to go deep into its finances. Ethiopia has recently completed magnificent projects such as urban development projects, bridges, dams, and industrial projects, among others. The well-designed Wello Sefer overpass on Bull Road is just one example of Ethiopia's enormous potential in massive public construction projects, which it has yet to demonstrate to the rest of the world. Stay with us as we go on this journey, as we take you on a tour of the 10 biggest ongoing projects in Ethiopia. 10. Beautifying Shedger The Ethiopian government's Beautifying Shedger project intends to clean waterways and develop public works in Addis Ababa, the capital city. It was inaugurated on February 27, 2019 by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed and is expected to last three years. The second phase of the Beautifying Shedger project, an Addis Ababa Riverside Green Development Program involving the creation of squares and roadside vegetation works, has commenced. Jiang Su Nantong Sanjin Construction Group is building on a 179,000 square meter plot of land adjacent to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and on the National Palace Garage. It primarily entails the development of a central plaza with a science and technology museum, a children's amusement park, a sports center, a shoreline, auxiliary buildings, and a domed theater, as well as supporting infrastructure like roads, pavement, ornamental lighting, and landscaping. 9. Laguerre The Laguerre Master Plan, designed by Smallwood for the Eagle Hills development business, is one of Ethiopia's greatest mixed-use developments. It is located in Addis Ababa, the country's capital. It includes more than 4,000 homes, a five-star hotel, offices, and retail components, and has a gross floor space of over 360,000 square miles. The location is in a highly attractive neighborhood, directly across from the CBD and the government precinct, and is well connected to the rest of the city via a metro station and major road frontage. The goal is to draw attention to Ethiopia's rich history and natural beauty while also contributing to the local economy by creating jobs and solidifying the site's position in Ethiopia's economy. The entire open-air shopping mall is a specialized market for local goods. An internal spine fosters a feeling of community and strengthens ties between project components and residents, who have access to their own amenity areas and gardens. 8. Mejanagna Mass Transport Terminal Addis Abeba will have four standardized bus terminals to improve its mass transportation operations. The selection of a construction company for one of the terminals in the pipeline is nearing completion. The terminals, which will be located in Mercado, Piazza, Summit, and Meganagna, will house a variety of amenities such as cafes, ticket offices, and stores. The project will be implemented before the city's 10th master plan is approved, which is still being debated by the public. Several other master plan components have also begun their implementation phases. The terminals are intended to improve the public transportation services supplied by various buses as departure and arrival destinations. Their design was also created to meet the city's rapidly growing mass transportation needs, which were recognized in the city's most recent master plan. There are around 376 hydro buses, 374 kicket buses, 405 public servants buses, 603 Ambessa, 37 Shedger, 
and 27 Alliance buses in the city at the moment. In addition, the city intends to add 300 more Shedger and 500 other buses to the fleet next year. The terminals will serve as a center for all of these types of transportation. According to Yahais Gurmis Lassi, head of the program office's pedestrian and public transport management division, the city currently lacks standardized bus terminals. 7. Addis Africa International Convention and Exhibition Center According to certain officials, work on the Addis Africa International Convention and Exhibition Center AICEC, is moving well. The construction of the center would be extremely important in this regard, according to Finance State Minister Dr. Ayab Tekaline, as Ethiopia prepares for a massive meetings, incentives, conferencing, and exhibitions MICE, industry. While there has been good progress thus far, we must increase our efforts, he tweeted. In Addis Ababa, the AAICEC Share Corporation will be a multi-purpose business center that will hold a variety of events such as international conferences, conventions, trade fairs, and exhibitions. Addis Ababa has been working on a variety of greenery and beautification projects in order to become one of Africa's most popular tourist and investment destinations. 6. Mesop Tower Mesop Tower is a one-of-a-kind structure that depicts Ethiopian culture. When completed, the public-private partnership development will help to increase visitor inflow and improve the country's favorable image. The 70-story building will be located in Addis Ababa, the country's capital. It will stand 250 meters tall and cover 20,000 square meters of land. The $681 million project will include among other things, hotels, shopping malls, a cultural center representing Ethiopia's several regions, a gym, and a golf club. The construction is expected to be completed in five years. 5. Largest Airport in Africa Ethiopia is planning to build Africa's largest airport in Bishoftu, a town located 39 kilometers south of the capital Addis Ababa. The $5 billion airport in the United States will occupy 35 square kilometers and have a capacity of 100 million passengers per year. Wall International Airport has has a capacity of 19 million passengers per year. Wall's traffic is likely to be greatly reduced as a result of the new airport. Ethiopian Airlines, Africa's largest airline by fleet size and revenue, has grown faster than the continent's air infrastructure. 4. Lapset Project On March 2, 2012, Kenyan President Uvuru Kenyatta, Ethiopian Prime Minister Mil Zanawi, and South Sudanese President Salva Kiir inaugurated Lapset. The Lapset Corridor Program, which connects Kenya, Ethiopia, and South Sudan, is Eastern Africa's largest and most ambitious infrastructure project. This mega-project consists of seven key infrastructure projects, starting with a new 32-berth port at Lamu, Kenya, interregional highways from Lamu to Isiolo, Isiolo to Juba, South Sudan, Isiolo to Addis Ababa, Ethiopia, and Lamu to Garson, Kenya, crude oil pipeline from Lamu to Isiolo, Isiolo to Juba, product oil pipeline from Lamu to Isiolo, Isiolo to Addis Ababa, interregional standard gauge railway lines from Lamu to Isiolo, Isiolo to Juba, Isiolo to Addis Ababa, and Nairobi to Isiolo. 3. Genil Dawa Hydroelectric Power Plant The Genil Dawa Hydropower Project was built by a China Jajaba Group and cost $451 million in total, with the Ethiopian government covering roughly $67.8 million. The rest was paid for with a loan. The project was first announced in 2010, but it was put on hold for more than a year due to delays in the resettlement of villagers living near the dam. The project's completion is expected to boost the country's electric power generation capacity to 4,654 megawatt, up from 4,200 megawatt now, as well as boost the economic benefits of the Genel and Dawa villages by boosting irrigation development. 2. Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway $4 billion. The Ethiopia Djibouti Railway Modernization Project, often known as the Addis Ababa Djibouti Railway, is East Africa's first modern electrified railway line 
stretching 752.7 kilometers. The Ethiopian and Jabaoshan governments jointly own the project, which is being built by China Railway Group and China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation CCECC. The modernization is expected to improve Ethiopia's landlocked access to Djibouti's port. The 780-kilometer meter gauge line connecting Ethiopia and Djibouti via Dair Dawa was completed in 1917. It is the only railway line connecting Ethiopia's landlocked country to Djibouti port, a key cargo entrance point, but it has deteriorated due to a lack of maintenance and administration. 1. Grand Ethiopian Renaissance Dam $4.8 billion Since 2011, the GERD project has been under construction. It is located in Ethiopia's Binishangul-Gumas region, some 15 kilometers east of the Sudanese border. When completed, the dam will be Africa's and the world's largest hydroelectric power facility, with a capacity of 6,450 megawatt. Currently, the project is 71% complete. The reservoir will take 5 to 15 years to fill after it is completed. However, it has met a number of obstacles, including a regional disagreement over the Nile's flow, delays, and the cancellation of the initial contract with MEDEC, which is operated by the Ethiopian military. These are the ongoing projects in this nation that upon completion will greatly improve the lives of Ethiopians. Please do not forget to give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to our channel for more videos on Africa Reloaded.